Tahiro not looking very happy. The coach immediately goes in to congratulate Dream on his sick build. But guys, let's go into game number two now on merry-go-round between Hero and Dream. Down here in the south, in the blue, our Protoss player from CJ Antis, it is Hero. Having a crushing game, game one. Yep, that can really get into your head, best of seven. Yep, and up here in the top of the left, we do have the Terran player, Dream. Mixing it up already, playing a pretty unusual style to what he usually does, because he's usually the guy that will just always mind drop. Which is probably most likely why he went for that Phoenix build. It's just a great way to mix things up against Hero too, because Hero is a very smart player. He w he will scout, you know, at that mother's core, get a lot of information. But if you just do something slightly different, you can really throw the build off of Hero. Yeah, and fantastic spawns, by the way, for Dream. You know, he's got a great pl uh, flight path straight to the main base of Hero. He's got a lot of dead airspace in between there, so we could see him go for some pretty. Uh, Pretty high aggression, a lot of dropping with mines. I think he's going for this mine style this time around because he's going for that Reaper build to start things off yep. and most likely transition from there. Reaper's pretty good on this map. Um, there's a decent ledge. You do have to jump up twice, but uh, if you can get into the base, there's, there's a lot of uh, surface area there for the Reaper to get in. And uh, like I was saying, he really needs to get the scouting information on Hero to know exactly what he's doing because, yeah. you know, Going for mine drops, you can do a lot of damage earlier on and really put a stop to the aggression of the Protoss as well, but um, he wants to be safe at the same time. Yeah, Got to be safe. Got to make sure you know you're, what you're up against. And, you know, having a Reaper on the map is also going to help you to shut down any sort of proxies that might come up. We have seen here a proxy just yesterday, Stargate, against what uh, what Dream was doing. So you want to make sure that's not going to happen so you can't just simply go into that easy uh, mine dropping well, look at what Hero is doing now. He adds two gases very fast. He's got one pylon over to the left side. Could be a Stargate pretty fast here. It's going to line up with this gas. Yeah, it could very well. He's going to go for that Mothership Stalker, but you know he's always got that option there. And at the very least, he's got a pylon there to spot drops just a little bit before they get into his mineral line. Yeah. Actually cancels that Stalker first, wants to get the Nexus out. Looks like he just wants to get units out here first, possibly to deny scouting. Uh, of that Reaper, yeah. probably assuming that Dream will go for this kind of build. Cool yeah. build from Hero. Well, I mean, you can't really think otherwise, right? Like, you've got to make sure of it, because if you if your mothership goes scouting and a Reaper gets into your mineral line, you're in so much trouble already. Mm -hmm. You've taken a lot of uh, proof kills. Well, thankfully for Hero, the Reaper went the wrong way. So the Reaper's only going to get here now. There's only in mother Mothership Core out. Mm. We go for that Stargate scout. We do see a Stargate where that pylon was you were talking about. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he just sacrifices Reaper. Or I think it'd even, be the best Even choice. with one Mothership Quarry, oh, he's probably raining. dropping there. Yeah. I, well, where the Mothership Quarry is as well, like it's just going to get a few shots off. Not going to get anywhere near killing. But he's going to keep the Reaper here for now. Maybe wait for a little while longer. But he's going to do it soon. Otherwise, he's going to miss his timing to really scout out this uh, Oracle. Yeah. Is that Oracle being chrono boosted immediately? Sending it, it's rally towards the inside of his base. Mm, maybe he wants to build up too. Oh, there we go. He's going to be rallying it towards the main base of Dreams. Okay. And we are seeing that reactor Hellions once again, mind you. Oh, look at this. He's going actually for harassment with the Reaper instead of uh, trying to scout it out. Yeah. I don't know if this is a bit of a mistake or not because he's only got one Rax Marines building at the moment and only five on the map for now. So that's kind of a dangerous situation to be in if this Oracle gets a good uh, couple of shots off. Going to scout it now with the Hellion, so we can react to it. But at the same time, there's nothing to defend here, and it's natural. This Oracle gets so much damage done. Marines are just going to give up on those guys. Yeah. Just going to walk back in the main. Going to get four kills in total. Even trying to kill some Hellions. 
And we actually see a Reaper double Hellion run by. This is oh, enough man. to one shot. This Phoenix there could slow this down if Heroes pays attention. He got one of the Phoenix, or rather, one of the Hellions here, and finally the Photon Overcharge comes down. So much damage already there. Yeah. And the Oracle even comes all the way back home, probably ran out of energy, but not really doing the same amount of damage. And there's still more Hellions coming. Oh, Everything man. from Hero out of position. Hero falling apart. Yep. Kind of freaking out here a bit. That nice split, so but 10 probes go down. Just too many, too many kills already. Once again, we're seeing uh, Dream just get this, this rhythm going, man. He's like, gets the pressure on and he keeps it going. And it's just too much happening for Hero to stay in control. It's almost like he's got Hero figured out. Like he knows he's gonna go early tech, so he's just not gonna have a lot of units. So if he goes super aggressive, drop heavy, and a lot of Hellions in your face, he's just not gonna have enough. Once again, he's just going for more probe kills at the natural while he deals with this drop in the main. Three more going down. He's going to actually focus down some more probes with these Marines. Yep. This is exactly what happened last game. He's getting so much damage done. This Finally, some lifts coming in. But again, 10 more probes go down. That's 20. That's 20 all up, Valdez. Yep. What are we seeing today? This is a whole new player. And the production from Dream is totally fine. I mean, he, he's got three mules, three mules Excuse me, pumping right now. He's got Widow Mines, two of them coming out at a time. He's spreading them out trying to snipe some units. The only thing he's missing is uh, an engineering bay to kind of help out with all this stuff. Uh, it's actually going to prove to be a little bit of a problem. Yeah. It seems That's like he's going for Vikings and Widow Mines instead. Yeah. you think he'd get one just in case to make things a little bit easier. He's making it now. It's there we go. Oh, Widow Mine. Oh, out. Almost. Yep. Going to get, again, one of those Phoenixes down to 20 health. And here, his economy once again is in shambles. You know, 11 probes in the main, 8 in the natural on minerals. That is, he's essentially mining from one base right now. That's how much damage he took. It's almost the same situation as last game. And Hero just doesn't seem to have an answer for it. Man, he just, he's just really falling apart to this aggression, which is, I, I dare say, to be pretty expected from Dream. This is like, this is pretty much his bread and butter this game. Dream seems to just be on top of it this time around. Hero now, he's just got to try to rebuild his pro count, get that economy going again, try to defend against what Dream is going to throw at him in terms of a follow-up push. Already powering up all the barracks, just like last game, getting his upgrades a little bit later. But once he gets everything here with a plus one combat shield stim, he's going to have a huge bio ball, and we're probably going to see a very similar push what yeah. we saw in the first game. Essentially identical, right? And this is pretty much what you have to do. This is like, you can go on autopilot from here because you're so far ahead in economy. You just get that production up. You go for that five racks, you know, one star for it, and just pump Marines and, and uh, Marauder Vedimac. And you just, it's almost unstoppable at this point. What is Hero gonna do? What we is see he him do? pumping out more Phoenixes this time and going for a very early charge. Seems like he wants to respond to this kind of pressure in a different way this time. Yeah, this means he's going to want to get a lot of Zealots out. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting to look at. Maybe try to bait the units up the ramp and like get some force fields and just try to crunch the army in with some Zealots and a Photon Overcharge. But can you even do this when you're so far behind in economy for so long? Like You're clearly going to be so far behind in supply, uh, that, and you're not using AoE units, you're using Zealots and Phoenix. Yeah. Like, how are you going to crush this army? Because I'm pretty sure Stim Marine Marauder are just going to A-move it more than anything else. Pretty much. You, you can see the army right now of Hero here. He's trying to build up all these uh, all these gateways right now and get a Templar Archives, but the push is hitting now. This is the follow-up push we were talking about. All the upgrades are lining up here. He's going to have plus one. He's going to have combat shields and that Stim. Yeah, he's even got Widow Mines. So, like, everything is just in a horrible place. Like, he puts the Widow Mine in a good place. The Phoenix will get DPS down pretty quickly. Just waiting for more. And we're essentially just going to see a big push in. Maybe not yet. Maybe he's just going to contain for now. He's still keeping a lot of his bio in the main base of Dream. Just maybe scared of any sort of counterattack. Hmm. He's got a lot of time there. Yeah. He's just going to play this very safely. He knows that Hero is going to have a super hard time of getting his own third base. So he's just going to go for his own. Look at the supply lead. Up. He's got a 50 supply lead right now, Velos. Yeah. What can you do against this? Pretty unbelievable. It's kind of disgusting. <laughs> this is the follow-up that Hero's going to try to go for. Some extra harass. We're yeah. talking about the units back at the base of Dream. But here we go. He's just going to go for the attack. He just decided. It's like, okay, now it is time. I will kill you. At least trade pretty damn efficiently. 
Yep. Some lifts coming in. Look at that. He's still got so many units left over after just running into that. Oh, that would have oh. lined it up. All oh, those zealots. Everything is getting cleaned up. And at the same time, a huge drop coming in there. Two medevacs going in. Hero may be able to deal with a small army, but it's not enough. GG. No, not with that drop in the main, man. There is no hope of that. So another very convincing move from Dream. Dream is slamming this guy down, man. Damn. It's already 2 0. Yeah. Two extremely quick games. He just can't keep up with this harassment. It's, it's kind of surreal that we're seeing this from, from Hero. He's like, yesterday he played so well and he destroyed Dream. Today, Dream is a whole new player, man. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with Hero. He's just not able to hold off this aggression very early on in the game. You were saying it before, Dream, this is what you have to expect. Although, um, I guess he didn't really show it too much yesterday. So maybe this is what he planned for this best of seven, just to get straight into Hero's face, go super aggressive very early on in the game and yeah. try to get that damage done. Well, so far, we ha these are like maps that weren't played yesterday either. And this was a bad map for, for Hero. So maybe he's not too worried just yet. He's like, okay, this loss was expected. This is a bad map for me. I, I fell apart to the harassment, which is so strong in this map, especially in those positions. So really, it's going to be down to the next game before we see Hero kind of crash. If he loses yeah. another game, he's, I think we'll just see him freak out a bit. But until then, I think he's got a straight face. Yep. Like, he doesn't look too too tilted just yet. He doesn't look too upset. Still focused. This is a big thing. We're about to go into Hero's map choice. It's going to be Overgrowth for game number three. And maybe this is where Hero grabs the series back into his control. We've seen him do it before. We've seen him get behind before and be OK. He's just got to calm down. He talks a bit with his coach and uh, just decides what he's going to do in game number three here because he's got to have a different idea compared to those first two games. Yeah, well, Overgrowth, you know, it's a much better map for him. Yeah. Well, guys, we're going to go to a five-minute break first. Stay tuned.